Hey, it's Melody. Welcome to A Saner Spin on Crazy. Uh, I am in Atlanta this week. I just spoke at Skyland Trail last night, which is a wonderful mental health facility here in Atlanta where I used to be a patient. So it was a very full circle moment and I was very glad to do it. Uh, and I hope to come back to be able to do it again. And if any of you live in Atlanta, this is an amazing facility that is expanding. Um, I was very blessed to get a scholarship to go to Skyland. Uh, and you, I've been to other mental health facilities, both in Atlanta and elsewhere, and I will tell you, I have nothing good to say about pretty much any of them. I have everything good to say about Skyland. So uh, if you're lucky enough to be in Atlanta and need help, this is a great place to go. Uh, anyway. That said, I'm still booking tour dates, so please email me, Facebook me, tweet me, whatever. This week, I'm going to address the question of the word crazy and my use of it, because I do use it, and I get this question a lot. I get people who are offended sometimes because I use it. Um, I use it in normal parlance as well. I'll, I'll say I'm crazy hungry, um, and I'll talk and say something that is irrational seems crazy to me, because that's what crazy means. Um, and I don't see that as being offensive. Uh, and also, I find owning the word itself and being able to use it and seeing um, how powerful it is when you actually own it uh, means a lot. And I think, as a writer, obviously, words matter to me. So I'm not just going to say, oh, it's just a word. No, all words matter. Words are important. But so is context. Um, there's a, a verse of the Quran that says, don't come close to prayer if you were intoxicated. So if you were to say, don't come close to prayer, and that, and they do this actually a lot with Islam, and they cite the Quran out of context, and they love doing it on Fox News, you should watch sometimes, but the context sort of matters, right? So it, the belief among Muslims isn't that you shouldn't pray, the belief is you shouldn't pray when you're intoxicated. Point being, context matters. And I can also tone matters. I can tell if somebody is saying something to be vicious, and I can tell if something's uh, being used as a pejorative. I can also tell if somebody is using something that, you know, you shouldn't use, be using the word that way, especially sometimes I hear people say like, oh, I've had such a schizophrenic day, that kind of thing. That to me is weird. It, it's actually just inaccurate. Um, and that's what I have trouble with, just inaccuracies in speech and language. Um, and so when somebody says crazy and they mean irrational, or they're using it like I'm crazy hungry, eh, you know, I mean, that's just something I haven't been able to get out of my vocabulary, so I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say that I have, uh, because maybe I'm just not that PC. But I, I don't think it's necessary, and I don't have the evil intent behind it. So I think intent matters, context matters, and if you want to continue to be angry at me for using the word crazy, <laughs> feel free. I'm totally fine with it. Uh, but I'm owning it. I'm totally cool with it. So I hope y'all have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week for episode five. Bye.